On our third day, we went to Lottery World. Lottery World is a major recreation complex located in downtown Seoul. It consists of Indoor Adventure, the world's largest indoor theme park, an outdoor theme park called Magic Island, a luxury hotel, the Korean Folk Museum, shopping malls, department stores, sports facilities, and movie theater, all in one place. Unfortunately, it was school holiday and peak season when we came here. So we didn't get the chance to enjoy the rides. Instead, we walk around and just took photos. The next day. Fifth day, we prepare early so we can drop by a local market before going to Gyeongbokjong Palace. Here, we were able to try different Korean street foods like odeng. Odeng is one of the famous Korean street food which is a fish cake. It's like fish bowl, but flat. That's some sort of na. It Next is Gyeongbokjung Palace. It was the first and largest of royal palaces built during the Joseon dynasty. It is better if you come here wearing hanbok, the traditional Korean dress, because you will not just get a free entrance, but get the feel of being a local with the ambience of the palace and the perfect Instagrammable photos. Ano, ano, ano? Ay, so. Is Ann Curtis? Yes, we saw Ann Curtis here in Korea. Three hundred and forty-six minutes later. If you visit Gyeongbokjung Palace, might as well visit Hanok Village, which is just a few minutes walk from the palace. Hanok Village is a Korean traditional village in Seoul with a long history located on top of the hill between Gyeongbokjung Palace, Changyuk Palace, and Jongmyo Royal Shrine. The traditional village is composed of lots of alleys, Hanok, and is preserved to show 600-year-old urban environment. 
Be mindful that if ever you plan visiting Hanok Village, be quiet and respectful for there is still a lot of locals living in the area. Korean ginseng. Deep fried ginseng. Hanok Village, we went straight away to Enso Tower. It is a communication and observation tower located on Namsan Mountain in central Seoul. The tower is renowned as a national landmark and for its cityscape views. Many visitors ride the Namsan cable car up to the mountain of Namsan to walk to the tower. Tourists also visit to watch the lighting of the tower, love padlocks, wishing and observatory. And again, we end our day eating street foods in Korea.